Oh, hi. Hey, it's Briz here. Uh, it's a Friday. I'm so excited. You know what I like to do on Friday? I like to start the day off with drinking. Lori, can you... <sighs> I've got beer on my yeah, breath, Yeah, right? you totally stink. <sighs> right? Okay, very okay. good. Uh, I bring this to mind because we got the Barb City on Tap event happening on Saturday, March 28th. Uh, down in DeKalb at the NIU Convocation Center down there. It's a 21 and over event. Come on down. We're going to have uh, beer sampling. We're going to have live music. You get a souvenir uh, a glass, too, a pint glass and all that. And I think we're going to have over 100 different kinds of beers and stuff you'll be able to sample and check out. I'm excited about that. Today's world, it's so much different. You know, when I was young, I was nursed on old style, basically, right? Thanks, Dad. But, uh, you know, and, and Mom, they, they, you know, that's the stuff that we had around the house. So when I was 21, 21. That's when I had my first beer. It was a nice, cold, old style. Nowadays, that was the only beer they made, by the way. The only beer they ever made. Now, there's so many different ones, and I wanted to share these with you. Maybe we'll see some of these at the Barb City on Tap event on March 28th. Local brew, Forest City Brew, see? Huh? You know where I found this at? Hmm. I found it in the old building. Uh, we went through there a few years ago, and we cleaned it out, and this was in there. So it hasn't been drank, and it ain't going to be drank. This was the worst-tasting beer ever. Uh, Trudy, one of the great sales gals up front there, uh, she got it for a Christmas thing. I ended up with it at a Christmas party, you know. It tastes like whiskey. It was, but like not good whiskey, like whiskey you'd find under railroad tracks kind of whiskey. Gross. Yeah, it was pretty bad. This is a, a special bottle of beer for me because I worked in Aspen for some time, and this is Road Dog Ale, and it was done by the Flying Dog Brewing Company in Aspen. And as you can see, there's a bad word on there which the Colorado uh, State Board of Liquor or whatever doesn't allow on beer labels. So there was only a very few of these out there, and I ended up with a bottle of this. Hunter S. Thompson uh, designed it, and then his illustrator. So, And he lived not far from me. I used to hear him shoot his guns off and stuff. This is not beer, but I thought it was cool. It's a Bob Dylan uh, bottle of non-alcoholic wine. And the ironic thing is my dad gave this to me. That's very not like my dad. And to be timely, I picked this up a couple weeks ago. I keep this nearby. It's my Grateful Dead uh, American Beauty beer, you know, in, in the honor, I guess, of their 50th anniversary. So pretty cool stuff here. Over 100 beers are going to be able to uh, uh, be sampled on Saturday, March 28th. Come on down. We'll be in DeKalb with the NIU Convocation Center. Barb City on tap. Tickets available. Get them at 967eagle.net. Now, excuse me. i got some drinking to do.